Shapewear has never made me feel better about my body and clothes. Today we're going to see if Lizzo's new shapewear brand Yitty can change that for me. I mean, does Lizzo need any introduction? Incredible artist, incredible human. If you're feeling down on yourself today, just remember that your body is your body. I was super excited about this brand when she first announced it. But something that's not super obvious about it is it's by Fabletics. And Fabletics as a company has always been kind of hit or miss for me. It's not the first brand I would trust to make the best shapewear, but because it's Lizzo, I trust her and I love the message behind the creation of this collection. So I'm giving it a chance. And I saw the shapewear section and it was in disarray. And I was like, Nobody is finding what they're looking for. It was not the best experience for me. It actually was a gateway to me not liking my body and not liking myself and not feeling like normal. Which is ironic because that's the opposite of what shape we're supposed to do. So I was like, who's gonna come in and change the game? Who's gonna do it? Bitch, me. <laughs> Three years later and Yiddy is born. Shape where you can wear underwear, overwear, anywhere. Period. Oh, we've got $700 worth here. Here we go. Yes! This dress was sent to me by Christine Quinn herself from her closet, which is one of the coolest experiences that has ever happened to me, but I have been too afraid to wear it. It's very thin, it's very tight fitting. So we're going to see if Yiddy can give me the confidence to rock this body con dress. This Yiddy stuff is actually split up into three separate collections. The first one is the mesh. And we got lots of it. All of this mesh stuff is meant to give like a smoothing and shaping effect, but it can be worn just on its own if you want it to. Most of it's very sheer, but like the bits are covered, you know? Oh my gosh, look how cute the tags and stuff are. Okay. Item number one is this little mesh bodysuit. It is made entirely out of mesh, but the whole midsection up to right here is double lined so that it has a little bit more structure to it and it's not see-through. I don't know that it's really doing much though. It's advertised as light support, which I think is what she was going for with this collection because most shapewear is just so tight and pinchy and uncomfortable. I think this particular item would be really cute with like a skirt or some high-waisted jeans. The back is a thong. I'm not gonna like full-on show you that, but this whole mesh collection is made from 82% recycled material, which is cool. This brand is part of Fabletics. It is also Fabletics pricing structure. So this thing is $85 if you're not a VIP member, but if you are a VIP member, it's $64. $4.95. It's the same thing as anything else with Fabletics. It is never worth the full price in my opinion. The tricky thing about being a Fabletics member is you have to remember to skip the month. If you don't, it charges you like 50 bucks, which goes into an account that you can spend at Fabletics, but it's still really annoying when you forget to skip the month. I'm gonna put this in the keep pile. I don't see myself wearing it all the time, but I think it's a fun little statement piece. Next, more meshy stuff. Okay, this is getting interesting. So this top, very similar to the bodysuit. There is a silicone lining along. Oh my gosh, and it's cute. Little yiddies all around the edge. <laughs> I'm assuming that's like uh, partly to add some support, but also so that when you raise your arms, it doesn't. Probably not gonna wear it under anything. It's kind of just meant to be worn on its own, I think I kind of want to work out in it because it's just like so breathable. And these bottoms are so comfortable. That same meshy material, but these have like a French cut thong on the inside, it's meant to not leave any panty lines if you are gonna wear these under something. These have silicone along the top of the waistband. I really like this crop top, but I just don't see myself wearing these shorts all the time, at least in this butterfly print. Maybe if they were black. Okay, so we knew that our girl Lizzo was gonna be an inclusive queen. <laughs> so this whole collection is in size 6XL, to extra small with the 6XL first and then the sizes go down. For some reason, I love that so much. I think it's just because it goes to show that the curvy girls were not only put into consideration when designing this collection, they were actually prioritized. Another cool thing is a lot of the listings actually have two different body types you can see it on. It was really good in theory, but they weren't super consistent with it. So for some of them, they like didn't have the size that the models were wearing. I personally found it really, really helpful. Like for example, I can see this model has a pretty similar body type to mine. She's a little bit taller than me. So that helped me make my decision. I'm with a large and all the bottoms and a medium and all the tops. You know what I wonder about this collection? I wonder if Fabletics approached Lizzo and they wanted to do like an activewear collaboration like they've done with so many other celebrities. And Lizzo was like, nah, 
Now we're not doing activewear. The clip of me talking about this outfit disappeared for some reason, but I actually really like these leggings. I don't know where I'm gonna wear them, but <laughs> they are insanely comfortable and kind of fun and different. Are they worth $70 if you're not a member? No. Are they worth 54? Yeah, probably. Honestly, I'm tempted to work out in these. It might make for a really good workout. Really, really like these leggings, so I'm gonna keep them, but I just don't know if this sports bra is worth $50 to me. Last meshy outfit. We've got more butterfly print. Is this sheer? I really hope it's not sheer. So they have three different styles of underwear. These high-waisted ones, some just like regular cut and then a G-string. I went with the high-waisted and I like them. I'm still very confused where I'm gonna wear all of this stuff. Just like here at home, I guess. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the silicone waist on underwear, but I actually don't mind it. And then this crop top once again, it's just, it's adorable. Man, the prices are just kind of a lot. Like I know shapewear is always expensive, but $50 for this crop. What I can't get past is the fact that they're charging $40 for this pair of underwear. And then if you're a member, it's 30. Like I like it, but I don't know if I like it that much. Once again, really like the crop top, but I just don't think these are worth $30. Here are the winners of the Nordstrom gift cards from the last video. I have some something else exciting for you. As you probably know, I am trying to pass Kim Kardashian in subscribers on YouTube. And when we do, I am going to buy you something from her Kardashian closet. Stay tuned, because I need your help to decide exactly what it is. Um, but please subscribe, because we've got a little ways to go still. The next Yitzy collection is the nearly naked stuff. And that is the stuff that comes in this super cute packaging. And this, this is the shapewear. Comes in neutral colors as well as some fun ones, but this is meant to go under stuff and really get us, you know, snatched up. I got two bodysuits to try. A shorts version and a thong version. I'm gonna try on the shorts version for you. If this actually fits well, I think I might cry. <laughs> it's on. Oh gosh, it's on. <laughs> I think I like it. Fun fact that I discovered. I think shaper is supposed to be a... Uh... List. I thought that was just a Skims thing. No, that's just a thing which makes sense. So this stuff is all medium compression, which I love. It's not like crazy, crazy tight, but it's enough to just kind of smooth everything out. I love how low cut the back is. So it has like strategic compression that goes around the cheeks, which is great. But my favorite thing is it's not digging into my thighs. That is one of my number one issues with shapewear is the digging in. So as a VIP, this was $39.95, which I think is a good price for this. This is one of the items that the price point makes sense to me. I think I'm gonna say it. This is the first piece of shapewear that I like. Absolutely keeping this, it is so good. All right, we're gonna take a risk with this next one. All right, I can't tell if I don't like the shorts or if I just don't like them in this yellow. I'm trying to focus on just the shape it's giving me. Um, they're so sheer. <laughs> it even says in the description though, semi sheer styling. It, it's completely sheer though, don't listen to that. Just gonna strategically cover everything. I just don't feel as smooth in these bottoms for some reason. The shorts have the silicone on the top. I kind of wish that they had them on the bottom here, but they don't. This little bra is really, really nice. Also has some silicone on the inside and kind of that strategic compressing contouring as well. Very light support. Oh. The waistband's rolling though. Yeah, shapewear shorts just never really do it for me. I'd rather have it all attached. Returning the yellow, it just didn't really compare to the bodysuit for me. The last Yiddy collection is called Major Label. And this is like loungy. It's giving me like sleepover vibes. Cute, comfy sets. They've got some hoodies. I feel like the one thing that would have completed this little collection is a big oversized t-shirt. Like imagine a t-shirt in this meshy material. Mm. I had to get this set because Lizzo just looked so beautiful in it. And I really liked this blue. Okay, these leggings. No compression, zero compression. I didn't even know that was possible with a legging. <laughs> I don't know, or maybe I should have sized down, but they're cute though, the little elastic waistband. I love this little bra. It is so comfortable. A very, very like thin, seamless knit material. And then the back is meshy. Not supportive, but it's cute. I definitely like the bra better than these leggings. I don't think that these are worth $70. Probably not really worth $54 either. The leggings weren't my absolute favorite, but I did really, really like this bra. All right, moment of truth. Okay, here is the dress just on its own. Absolutely nothing under it. It looks pretty good. I'm just just not feeling my absolute best in it. Now we're gonna try it with this underneath. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I can see a difference. Can you see a difference? Cause wait, 
Okay, but I'm laughing when I'm watching this back because it is like minuscule difference. But when I tell you I felt like a million bucks, no one is gonna be breaking their necks looking at me over this like 5% more smooth look I have going on. But it gave me the confidence to wear this dress without having to wear like a baggy coat over it or holding something in front of my stomach all day. And that is priceless. This is what shapewear is meant to do. I get it now. Look at my little bum. Do you see my little bum right now? Lee, check this out. Lee and I picked out some other videos down below that we thought you might enjoy. Make sure to check out all of my other celebrity clothing reviews. Here is my second channel if you want some extra hope. And we will see you guys over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.